Hey guys, Pat Gagman here from Custom Finish Basements. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Danny. He's the uh, number one guy on the job after I come out and do the design. And uh, a lot of what you see in this basement you're about to go through is uh, with Danny's input as well as mine, uh, a lot of these features. And stick with us because we've got something really cool at the end of this video. So one thing with the design, we're really, uh, it's really important to us. We added an entrance here from the outside, and this is like strategically done to put the bathroom right here. It's hard to see all in the video at once, but there's a really cool shower. We're gonna upload some pictures on that over here. And with the bathroom being this close to the entrance, it helps keeping the dirt down from coming in and out of the backyard. Um, the key thing here on Danny is we had some dead space in the wall, so Danny put this decorative built-in in, and it really enhances it, put the light, and it adds a lot of character to the basement. Um, above, too, there was uh, some ductwork, and he put a nice octagon ceiling. It's just, uh, it just makes a big difference. So as soon as you come in the basement door, immediately to your left is the bar. So this is here for a, a good reason. Again, when you're entertaining outside, you want to come right in. You don't want to have to walk through the whole basement. You want to keep this nice and close, the bathroom, the bar. And, and then Danny actually took this to another level too. Danny, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you have here? Yes, so um, basically we have, we have a tray ceiling again that incorporated some of the obstructions. We had a steel beam that, that ran through here and some duct work on that, uh, that side as well. So we were able to tie that all in together to make it one continuous unit. And then uh, we, we chose to do a decorative coffered ceiling. Um, which, which also makes, makes the area a little more special and uh, inviting in this area. So it's a, it's a good area to, to gather. Yeah, so of course enhancement like the LED lights. And well, you, listen, I gotta be honest, we were very fortunate to have great customers that had phenomenal taste. They worked really well with us. Most importantly, they trusted us. They, they asked us you know, what we thought and they went with it and, and they got this great finished product as a result. So right in front of me here too, we kept this area wide open, again, for entertaining, but we built an open home theater. So as you come around here, you'll see what I'm talking about. This area is great for entertaining and hanging out. You can see there's TVs everywhere, but this open home theater seats a ton of people, and not only do you have the two rows of theater seats and this counter right here, but we, you know, we have more seats, so no matter where you're at, you're in the game. And, and once again, Danny took us to the next level. There was a lot of obstructions in this ceiling, so he came up with a double tray ceiling, which actually looks super sharp. Uh, changed the size of the crown molding and, and added the decorative lights in here. All right guys, so let's, let's head out into the theater, and uh, there's still a lot of basement here, believe it or not. This is a, this is a big basement. I would say this one was probably about 27 to 3,000 square feet. I yes. can't remember exactly. Uh, Danny, Danny custom built this mantle uh, when we got to the trim stage. So uh, again, another TV, of course, you know. Uh, we got a little storage room. There's actually a utility room uh, behind this door. But what's really cool is right here we had a column. So one of the big challenges is they were like, I have a column in the middle of my basement, what are we gonna do? So we do this quite often where we hide uh, with the French doors and the glass and we hide the panel. In this case, um, we turn this into a wine room and a lot of times there's additional columns here and here and uh, very enhanced. Once again, getting put a tray ceiling um, in the molding and it's just, it's just classy, really done well. So as you, come, as you guys uh, come back out of there, you're going to see this is the entrance from the upstairs. Our, our signature move all the time is opening up the stairs. So the whole idea is we don't want to finish your basement. We want to add another level to your home. So this is clearly their home, not a base. So having said that, Danny, I think uh, came up with this right here as well, which I absolutely love. Yeah, we had a, a deeper wall cavity, so instead of losing some of that space, we made a decorative uh, recessed uh, niche here for the, for the painting. As a focal point coming down the stairs uh, for the first thing to see. So it was just a, another one of the little touches that kind of draw things together. Yeah, so guys, as we, as we circle around to kind of conclude this basement, we still got two more rooms over here. And, uh, you know, again, we, we, they wanted a gym. So, so the whole idea here too is to meet all the customers' wish list, but at the same time, make it feel like the home, make it feel wide open. So the design is the most critical stage and all the details, you know, listen, it's all in the details. So again, little spot right here, then put a built-in in, another tray ceiling, uh, use the larger crown molding in here, uh, re-enhanced with more glass French doors, 
And the glass front stores are really nice because it keeps an open feel rather than it being a closed room. So with that being said, we're gonna go into the last room here. Then walk us into uh, the cigar room and uh, also a glass French room. And so the, the, the last part is this is actually uh, a door for, for the entrance uh, into the closet. So it's a hidden bookshelf door um, for storage in the cigar area. So guys, as we wrap this up, as you come back out here, you can see one thing I didn't touch on. Again, uh, this has a lot to do with the customers having great taste. The floor is just amazing. And, uh, and it was done very well. And the colors, the whole scheme. So, so it's, it's a collaboration. It's, it's, it's a design. It's having the right team members. And it's our office staff. It's, this is not done by one person. And most importantly, you know, the homeowners, um, you know, trusting us and trusting our design helps us get to something like this. So, I, Danny, I thank you for everything here, and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thanks.